Okay, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be continuing with our insert mode mappings. Uh, today, we'll be focusing on inserting text from registers uh, specifically. So it's really just one mapping, but with, the, I guess, a few variants on it. So say I yanked this word into a specific register. So if I, yank, if I do double quote A, yank in a word, it yanked the word Aragi into register A. So if I come here and do double quote A, P, it will... <laughs> Uh, paste that it was in register A, and if I yank this uh, word, uh, Koyami, into register B, so double quote B, yank in a word, and I come here, uh, double quote B, P, it will paste that it was in uh, register B, and, uh, you know, double quote A, P, paste whatever, whatever is in register A. So we've got that. Uh, in insert mode, if you hit Control R, you'll see a double quote appears. It is waiting for you to insert the name of a register to insert from. So if I hit A, it inserts whatever's in register A and keeps keeps me in insert mode. So I can keep typing in insert mode and whatever. Um, if I come here again and hit Control R, right, it'll wait for uh, the name of a register. And the, the double quotes is just a placeholder. So if I somehow exit, uh, the double code doesn't get placed. So Control R. B puts whatever's in, inserts whatever's in register B, and you can continue typing. Note it, it counts as, as one edit. So, uh, control R, A, and you know, control R, B, whatever. It all keeps it in the same insert, so it's all one edit. So that's control R, and that's almost basically it. Uh, we also have some other mappings that change the behavior slightly, so, Say I recorded a macro, right? So if I record, uh, if I do Q, C to record a macro, to record a macro, uh, uh, in, into register C, and I type some text like, uh, I to go into insert mode, A, and then B, and then backspace B, and then C, um, and, uh, let's say, uh, escape, and that's all we typed, and then end the macro with Q. Right, and now if I uh, replay the macro, so if I do add Q, it, it it replays the macro as you would expect. So add Q, just replays the macro. Uh, so, no, not add Q. What? It's add C. Yeah, I didn't know it actually stores a Q by default. Okay. Anyways, add C will <laughs> replay the macro. Uh, so. You can actually paste the contents of uh, register C. So if I do double quote C P, it pastes the contents of uh, register C. And as you can see, that there's a ton of stuff in here. There's the I, the literal I, A B, and then this A D here uh, is for the the backspace since it's a special you know a keyboard character. And then K, I guess, I don't know something. And then the B, the C, there's stuff here. This is basically, I'm not sure why I did format it this way, but uh, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why I format it this way, but uh, uh, this is basically the, the raw input of like what your terminal was uh, typing, uh, well, what your keyboard was typing. That's the raw input captured. Uh, if you want to paste that raw input captured, uh, you can do Control R, uh, Control R, and then the name of your register, in our case C. Again, I'm not sure why it sort of shows it this way. I'm not sure it's just showing uh, funny, but that's how you would paste the raw uh, input. Again, if you do, if you just did Control R C, it would just paste I A C, uh, whereas. Uh, Control R, Control R, C would uh, show all these special characters in between as well. So you have that. Uh, we also have uh, Control R, O. So, okay, okay, let me type some text here. So if I have some text and it's indented, right? Okay. If I have, if you have the setting uh, auto indent on, uh, so if you set order indent, 
uh, which basically if you're on an indent level yeah and you type in enter it automatically indents you to the same level yeah so you can type comfortably on the same indent level uh, essentially if you say if i yanked this line right and i come to this line over here if i did Control r uh, and then double quotes for the uh, the default register it will simply paste the text as it is. And then on the next line, you can see I'm already on the order indented level, okay? But if you don't want to order indent uh, from the control R paste, so control R, and you don't want the order indenting, you can do control R, control O, and then your, your register. So double quotes for the default register. And in this case, uh, on the next level, I'm not order indented. So that's how you can remove the auto indent. So again, control R, control O to do the same thing, paste. Uh, it acts the same way as uh, control R, control R in the same way that it will paste uh, raw input. That makes sense. The literal characters, I think that's the proper term. It acts the same as control R, control R, but it does not auto indent, okay? And then we also have control R, uh, control P, which if I just show you control R, control P, and then my register name, so double quote for default register, it just removes the indent level completely. So that's how you paste without indentation, control R, control P. So just to revise, uh, we have uh, control R, uh, which simply pastes from any register. We have control R, control R, which pastes, but uh, pastes the literal characters that were typed in. Uh, we have control, uh, if I have some text here, yeah. we have control R, control O, uh, which pastes, uh, which pastes and removes the indent level. It does not indent on the next line, it sort of turns off auto indent for the next line. And then we have control R, Control P, and then your register, which simply removes the indent altogether. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next. Cheers.